This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hi guys and I hope you are all well. In today's video I will be showing you guys how I take notes and what I use to study in med school. I am currently a fourth year medical student in the UK and I always get asked about my favourite books and resources to use in medicine. So I thought I'd compile it all in a video for you guys. So let's get started. To make my notes I use my laptop and my iPad. On my laptop I like to make powerpoints and write out my PBL LOs, so these are my learning objectives for every week. I like doing this because it just helps me organise my notes better and I like flicking through the slides rather than scrolling through pages and pages on Word document. I also like to separate my notes into different weeks so I know which powerpoint to go to when I am looking for a specific topic. On my iPad, I like to use an app called GoodNotes 5 to make my digital handwritten notes. This is where I like to make summaries of disease profiles and I really like doing this because I feel like it helps me remember the conditions a lot better in comparison to just writing text on PowerPoint or Word. I also like writing on my iPad because I have a lot more freedom when it comes to labelling diagrams, using different style fonts and even making posters. I am a visual learner so this helps me a lot. If you want to know more about how I make my notes on GoodNotes then make sure to check out a video I have previously made on my channel called How I Make My Pretty iPad Notes and this is where I go into more depth about the pen sizes and the formats I use. I have also created anatomy flashcards using my iPad and the app called Procreate. I have simplified the diagrams down to make it easier for me to visualise the different organs and body systems. These flashcards are actually available to purchase on my Etsy so if you are interested and would like to support me then I will leave the link below in the description box. To make my notes I use a lot of different resources and I mainly go off by lectures provided by my university but also like to tune into different revision sessions held by different med ed platforms. In terms of books, I like to use a few specific ones which I am showing you guys here. I will leave all the details below about these books in the description box but I wanted to talk specifically about this Oxford Clinical Medicine Handbook. This book is great because it goes through all the important information you need to know about different diseases and it summarises them very well and it's perfect to carry around with you on placement. I also like to refer to the BMJ practice because it beautifully summarises different diseases and has case presentations that you can read up on. I also use the NICE guidelines website because the UK is dependent on these guidelines when it comes to managing and advising patients. Okay so let's now talk about how I retain the information that I have made notes on. Most of the time I forget and I feel like as soon as I finish a module the knowledge just diffuses out of my brain. So I've heard that space repetition and doing lots of questions for active recall is apparently supposed to help you remember in the long run. So I have started doing both and have incorporated these techniques into my study routine. I want to talk a little bit about Anki and how great it is um, because it incorporates both active recall and space repetition in one place. It's basically a bunch of flashcards that you can download or make yourself and essentially the program will show you different flashcards um, depending on how easy or hard you have found them. The program is actually free to download across all platforms and the productivity guru Ali Abdal has a Skillshare class on this where he runs through everything about Anki so I would like to take this time to introduce Skillshare to you guys. Skillshare is an amazing platform where different creators come together to share and teach you different skills like illustration, productivity, photography and much more. The classes include a combination of video lessons and a class project. As I was saying, Ali Abdel's class on the ultimate guide to Anki is great and he talks about the basics about the app and walks you through how to make the flashcards from different resources. 
There are also a lot more videos on Skillshare going into detail about how you can be more productive as a medical student or in general. So if you are interested, Skillshare is only less than $10 a month and the first thousand people to use the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. You can get access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects. I want to talk about QuestMed which is an online platform that is also great for doing lots of questions and spaced repetition. It has over 6,000 SBA exam style questions you can do and over 1,500 spaced repetition flashcards on all topics. To access the questions however it is £10 per month but you can get some discount using my code TK25 if you are interested. Other question banks that I like to regularly use are called Pass Medicine and Pass Test. Both are really good at testing your knowledge and also provide you with detailed explanations for different clinical cases. They also have questions for OSCEs, prescribing skills and SJT which you can do and practice. Both of them are paid subscriptions but I think it is totally worth it. Another way I like to memorize my notes is by using a whiteboard. So when it comes to exam season, I like to go over my notes again and again and also simplify diagrams. When it comes to studying for OSCEs, I like to use a book called Unofficial Guide to Medicine, Passing OSCEs. I really like this book because it goes through all the clinical examinations in a very clear and concise manner and it covers other aspects like taking different types of histories from patients and has great images. They have kindly offered you guys a 15% discount code that you can use when purchasing yourself a copy. This code is only valid until 15th of March this year. If you are a medical student watching, then you probably already know about Geeky Medics. Geeky Medics has literally saved my life. It goes through all the important clinical examinations, it goes through notes and histories and basically everything and it's all free to access online. So yes, I would highly recommend it to all of the medical and healthcare students. OSCEstop is also another great resource for website which covers different clinical examinations, procedures and other clinical topics. Lastly, I just want to mention that for OSCEs, the best thing to do is just practice and practice and keep practicing with your friends because that's what will make you more sleek in your examinations and procedures. So yeah, keep practicing guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave me a comment. Thank you.